which are crucial for economic and industrial development. Greenification being one, industrial and logistics infrastructure being the number two, digitization being number three, the fourth, enterprise and skill development. On greenification front, I wish to point out that with decarbonization becoming a global imperative, our emphasis continues to be on hastening the transition to renewable energy. Andhra Pradesh is blessed with a large renewable energy potential of 82 gigawatt. It is one of the very few states in India that has a combined potential for solar, wind and pump storage as well. We have also identified and set aside dedicated land parcels for wind, solar and pump storage projects as well. Andhra Pradesh is also blessed with unique geographical features enabling a potential of 34 gigawatt in pumped hydro storage as well, which can facilitate round-the-clock renewable power. Andhra Pradesh has the potential to be one of the leading states in India for production, consumption and export of green hydrogen, green ammonia, given the long coastline we are endowed with. On the industrial and logistics infrastructure front, I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh, with its 974 kilometer long coastline, is a gateway to India on its east coast. To strengthen the maritime sector in the state, we are developing four new ports at Ramayapatnam, Machlipatnam, Bhavanpadu and Kakinada, in addition to the six operational ports. Further, the abundant land availability in close proximity to these ports enhances the potential for port-led industrialization. I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh is the only state with three industrial corridors Vizak Chennai Industrial Corridor, Chennai Bangalore Industrial Corridor, and Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor. These industrial corridors are planned in proximity to various demand centers and provide excellent connectivity from the ports to various hinterland locations. These corridors with 10 dedicated nodes would certainly emerge as hubs for industrial growth in the years to come. To reduce the time and cost of moving cargo to hinterlands, we are also developing five multimodal logistics parks as well, a strategic location spread across the state. The state government is also developing nine new fishing harbors, enabling seafood sourcing and processing. Andhra Pradesh also has sector-specific industrial clusters for pharmaceuticals, textiles, food processing, electronics, etc., which provide the state, which provides state-of-the-art, common infrastructure, and large pool of skilled manpower. Andhra Pradesh is also home to several medtech companies in Andhra Pradesh, medtech zone in Visakhapatnam. Additionally, the government is making available plug-and-play facilities which will significantly reduce the cost and time associated with setting up of business. The third pillar, digitization, is also of paramount importance. Our single desk portal offers a one-stop digital platform for all domestic and international investments with over 90 business services across 23 departments. The business specific approvals for setting up of businesses are granted within a maximum time frame of 21 days. To improve the delivery of citizen centric services, we also have the AP Seva system at the village and ward secretariats providing over 540 services. On the enterprise development and skill enhancement front, 
I have always believed that conducive business environment is one of the most important requirements for achieving accelerated enterprise growth. The state of Andhra Pradesh is known for its focus ensuring business friendly environment for the stakeholders. The state has consistently stood first in the country in ease of doing business. Consecutively for the past three years and received the highest positive feedback of 97.89% from industry surveyed by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Government of India, DPIIT, which itself speaks volumes of the conducive environment in the state. Moreover, we have proactively amended acts and repealed obsolete laws to reduce compliance burden on the industry, along with good infrastructure and a conducive business environment, availability of skilled workforce is very crucial if the desired outcome is to be achieved. To this end, the state government is in the path of setting up 26 skill development colleges in the state. The state government is working with the objective of upgrading skills of our local youth to international standards through significant industry involvement through these skill development colleges. I wish to conclude by reiterating that with proactive policy formulation and due attention to each of the pillars discussed, we are facilitating a business friendly environment and are also ensuring sustainable economic development of the state. At the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2020-23, over the next two days, we will be showcasing the strengths of our state and the business prospects that are available. We urge all the business leaders to participate actively in the sector sessions and engage with our teams to understand the potential opportunities in various sectors in our state. It is our commitment to facilitate the most conducive business ecosystem in the state. I once again assure you that we are only a phone call away. Whenever you need us for anything whatsoever in supporting your business, this is our assurance to you. I thank you once again for being part of this summit and extending your warmth and support. I do hope that you have a wonderful time in our beautiful city of Visakhapatnam, which would be our executive capital as well in the days to come. I myself would be shortly moving over to Visakhapatnam in the days to come as well.